and welcome to Drizzle Land in a special edition of the Drizzle Review Show because this is the beginning of the Halloween season so we're going to be counting down some good old-fashioned movies for everybody to talk about so first and foremost the original Poltergeist movie which by the way, is the only good Poltergeist movie. The other ones, P.U. Stinkums. I know. I can't deal with that. Bad, 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 icky. Okay. So, next on the list, the first four Alien movies, the Collector's Edition, with all the four the first four movies in it and so first and foremost love the alien series love it some of the weirdest things I've ever seen in movies were in those films um, Sigourney Weaver is by far probably one of the original female kick-ass action you know heroes uh, of the women uh, of film um, and I have nothing bad to say about those four movies actually I would say each one of those movies gets like an 8 yeah now it's the Leprechaun trilogy it's the Leprechaun yes by far the funniest horror movie series ever. Hands down. Leprechaun in Space was really bad, though. That is absolutely horrible. But I can tolerate the other movies. Yep. The first Adam Sandley movie, which, by the way, probably is the best one so far. And... I just want to point out that the cast is amazing in that movie. There's a little bit of everything in it, and it just works. It's one of the best movies made, as far as I'm concerned. And here's a good old one for everybody from the 1980s. The Labyrinth with David Bowie. And I'll show you the back of it, actually. This is actually an original copy, by the way, on VHS. And it still plays. I get that question all a lot. The next one is the Dark Crystal. Oh, actually, I'm for you. I'm sorry. Screw up there. Picked the wrong movie. Uh, Sleepy Hollow, actually, with Johnny Depp. Christina Ricci, which is the special edition one on VHS. Pretty sweet. I actually just watched this not too long ago. It's really, really good. Brings back memories. Now we're going to get to the Labyrinth. Grab the wrong movie. So this is the Labyrinth. Another great movie for everybody to check out around Halloween. Nothing wrong with it. Next one is the first Child's Play movie, which most people know that, like, I'm not really a, 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 a doll person and a, and a clown person. I'm actually quite terrified of both of them. But uh, for some reason, I don't mind watching the movies. But honestly, if I ever ran into a psycho doll or a clown chasing me, um, I, I, I am hauling my ass away from that situation. I don't want to be in that situation. Just a heads up. The next one is the first Halloween movie with Jamie Lee Curtis in the original cast. This probably is the best Halloween movie in the series. Honestly, the first one. And then right after that, 
is the second movie, which is also a really good movie. And I again, I think that the first two are probably the best ones, but that's just me. After that, The Bride of Chucky, Jennifer Tilly, you know, basically the same cast, but uh, overall, again, I like the Child's Play movies, and I like the spinoffs. I don't really have a problem with it. I think they're, they're good on their own, and they're funny. Cruel Intentions, the collector's edition, on DVD. I love this movie because it's raunchy, it's funny. It's a movie that everybody can actually enjoy if you would sit down and watch it. There's good music with it, too. Here's one that I bet a lot of people don't even know about. Yep, Troll 2, ladies and gentlemen. A very rare movie, and also probably one of the most cheesiest horror movies ever made, but also one of the most amazing, funny, and entertaining movies I've ever watched in my entire life. So I would give that movie about a 7, and watch it, check it out. You actually might like it. Freddy vs. Jason. I actually liked this movie. Some people did not because they're grumpy pusses and they don't really accept that, well, both characters can't die. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? It's a scary movie. It's, it's for horror fans. Deal with it. Man, come on. Sam. The Haunting, Catherine Zeta Jones, Owen Wilson. Wilson. I didn't care for the movie when I first saw it, but then when I saw it again years later, I actually gave it an opportunity, and it's not even that bad of a film. Wes Craven's. New Nightmare. I like the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. I know a lot of people get grossed out about it, but I like it. It's funny in certain parts. The next one is the first Swamp Thing movie with Adrian Barbeau. And I t it took me a long time to get into this movie, but once I bought it, I started watching it a little bit more, and actually it's fairly decent. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, he isn't going to bust this out, is he? Slumber Party Massacre 1... I have the second one and the first one actually too. So those are probably the best two slasher movies towards the end of the 80s. They're funny. They also have really good music. Friday the 13th. The New Beginning. Which actually is a really good movie, and I only watched it three times before I bought it. And I like it now. Buy it, people. It's good. It's good for your soul. Yes, it is. It's good for your soul. And after that... 
interruption, the Godzilla movie from the 90s. So a lot of people, again, didn't like this movie, and it took me a few times to actually watch it for me to give it a passing grade, but it's about a five. It's, it's okay. Yes, Katie, I know. Hi. Well, with that, I'm going to stop the movie review for right now and finish this up later. But those are just a few for you guys to check out. So I'll be back tomorrow to do the rest of the review. So this is part one. Tomorrow is part two.